Hi friends, hello the world. Welcome back to this episode of Tools for Transitioning Humanitarians. I'm your host, Asala Wanara, talking to you from Bishkek, a very cold weather. So the topic that I wanted to talk to you about today is a topic of how to make impossible sounding dreams goals possible and what are the elements that have been like so common among so many people that I have coached, so many people that I have talked to and myself and the books that I have read. There are a lot of like commonalities or similarities in how we make impossible dreams possible. And even in your own experience, this may be the case. And looking at it and deciding what to do with it and um documenting how you have been so far maybe doing or creating things that were impossible at some point in your life. That's what we want to talk about today. And I apologize for external noise. I am in a co-working space and there are lots of other people having lunch and enjoying life. So that's where we are. So the topic that I wanted to go into today is why it matters that we go for impossible sounding dreams and goals and how to actually make it happen, right? So these are the two questions that I want to dive into in answering them. The first is why is does it even matter? Why do we want to do this? Why should we do this, right? If you have this type of questions, I think you need to be answering this for yourself, but here is how I have answered for myself, is one of the biggest um, reasons why I love going for impossible sounding goals or not only like um, going for it, but actually keep setting for myself impossible sounding goals is because I know that's like the fastest way I can grow, the fastest way I can find out what I'm capable of but also it requires so much uh, trust so much trust in myself so much trust in what I'm doing and what I'm going for and it just grows my trust level so much more to a point that I don't really consider fear as the main obstacle anymore and what that allows me to do then is when I think of fear not to be an obstacle anymore then I know that I can just go for anything I want to and that gives me so much more freedom and then once I get used to this type of way of like living life and setting impossible goals then I start setting impossible goals next time not even for achieving something but for the process of going through and understanding how I show up, how do I behave, how do I um, get to know myself in a new way, while also creating the outcomes that are so amazing. So I have this year the goal of impossible sounding goals of helping 100 humanitarians uh, transition, living the life they want to, uh, living the life... Uh, in the way they want to, with their loved ones, um, living the life uh, in the way they want to, while making the money they want to, while creating the impact they want to, right? About 100 people I want to help. And this sounds impossible uh, in some ways, but also it sounds very, oh my God, what if I could do this? And how would I do this, right? That's the um, goal that I'm pursuing. Now, as I have shared with you so many times my own journey of how I have had so many impossible sounding dreams coming true and what I realized from all of those experiences is that I went beyond the limits of what was possible according to society Right, I went beyond the limits of what was possible according to society standards at that point. And now society standards may be different, but I'm so like glad that I have done it because what I have learned from those experiences is that I have such a powerful brain tool, just like you all do. And that tool, that asset whichever the way you want to see it has the 
resources to get me to anything I want to. To get me to anything I want to, no matter what the circumstances are. And I'm so wanting to know how that is and what that is, what else I'm capable of and how I can get there and how I can go through those challenges and also how I can go through those challenges powerfully instead of feeling like, oh, I, I don't really want to go through this and I am afraid to go through this or whatever else that we, um, we tend to experience, right? So in other words, embracing to all the difficulties, all the challenges, and at the same time going through them. And like when I have, when I think about all the ways that I have gone through difficulties and uh, achieved impossible goals, I know that once I have gone through this, I was the proudest. I was uh, not only the proudest, I could see a lot of side effects in a good way, great side effect of doing that work doing that impossible dream, going for that impossible dream that I didn't even know that those side effects existed before. For instance, when I went to um, study in Germany, I was my goal was only going for uh, studying in Germany and um, getting the scholarship and going through the master's. But then the side effects of that that I didn't know that I could have and I did, which is forming so many relationships um, with other friends that are up until now are my friends, right? Um, like uh, developing this uh, desire for visiting so many different countries that I have now visited 52 countries and I want to uh, go through all of them. Um, another side effect that I didn't know that I had is that that opened up a possibility of um, working in the parliament uh, in Germany that I didn't know that I could ever even think about. But then once I was there and I was studying and I was exposed to so many different people, and then I one day I was attending a workshop where um, a deputy a MP from the German parliament came over to give us a lecture. And then I talked to him in the corridor and then I said I was searching for an internship and he said, come over. And that's how I ended up being in the parliament in Germany to uh, do an internship, which I never thought that it was even like a remote possibility. Right. So there were this was only within pursuing one um, goal. That was the impossible goal of studying in Germany without really having the language abilities, without really having the uh, qualifications that so many others people, other people had, but still by trying my best and and working towards it, it this became possible. So what I love about um, this experience is that it has brought me a lot more side great side effects that I couldn't have even imagined. It allowed me then to go and work um, for the organization that I really dream, dreamt, dreamt of going and working for, right? And that was the United Nations. And that opened up the career doors for me. And then as I went in my career as a humanitarian, there were so many other impossible sounding dreams that I kept getting and getting. And from this experience, what I have learned is there are two ways that we can get our impossible dreams or goals achieved. So one may be, excuse me, one is where you may not even understand or you may not even think about that this is possible for you. You may not even think about uh, this type of goal for yourself because you may think it's too unattainable or maybe you don't even like think about it, it doesn't even enter occur to you that you could do this so then there might be this type of goals right so um, and how do we even get to those uh, goals so if we don't even think about or attain so like think about attaining it? how do we even get it right and the answer that I have found is that when you really 
love what you do. You really keep going and doing that. When you keep committedly working on it to improve it to uh, create the impact that you want to, then all the other offers start coming to you. All the offers that you didn't even think was possible, they start coming up to you. And that's how it happened to me when I was working in Ukraine is that um, the offer of being head of office came to me where I didn't even realize that I could be not only qualified, but I could even like think that this was a possibility. And this was thanks to my um, commitment to making my work as best as I can, creating the impact as best I can, um, doing the work because I really love doing the work. And that created the, the offer for uh, my rep at the time offer this uh, job to me. Now, there might be other jobs that were not even maybe jobs or whatever the impossible sound and goal that you want to achieve and you feel like, yes, this would be amazing or this would be like the ultimate goal, but you don't really think that it's possible, right? You don't really think that it's possible. So I have a client currently who is actually wanting to uh, live in a family station with her uh, husband and two children. And according to the uh, country regulations, unfortunately, um, certain uh, professions or certain people with certain professions cannot leave the country. Now, she believes that it will never happen, right? It will never happen. Her impossible dream of living with her husband and children in a family legislation while she working on her humanitarian career, she believes is not possible. So we're now saying, what if we challenge that belief? What if we challenge that? What if we are people who actually know or maybe even like sense as to how we can create those impossible sounding dreams? And if we were capable of doing that, how would we do that? And then it turns out we looked at her history of how many times over and over she has created um, dreams that sounded impossible at a time, but she created even more than she was thinking was possible, right? That's the thing. She she really wanted a, a certain uh, goal, and then she started putting a lot of efforts into it but she didn't really know how this will all turn out. She just believed that it was possible and she went for it and she kept doing all that is within her control. And then one day she received an offer for a job that she never even thought she could apply for in a place that sounded very unattainable. So you can see that when we looked at her situation, there are lots of evidences for how she's actually good at creating those impossible sound and dreams. And not only once, many, many times over. And the same is in my life as well as I have created so many times over the dreams that I thought was never possible. Now, when we look at this, my experience and the experience of this client and experience of so many other clients that I coach, here are the elements that are very clear that come up. That is, one, allowing ourselves to believe that it's possible, even if currently we have no evidence for it ever working. Maybe even we have evidence for it's actually not going to work and there are obstacles for it. Even in those situations, can we allow ourselves to believe that it's possible? And if we do, how can we do that, right? So that's the first piece of it, the first element of it. Just trusting, believing, what if it's possible? And what if I could get there? What if I could solve those problems? What if I could solve those obstacles and I could get there? That is one element that you can totally apply as of now. The other element is that is very common is doing everything within our control. Not with attachment, not with, oh my God, um, I, um, I'm not really doing this right or keep doubting or whatever, but rather keep doing it. 
keep doing everything that you believe is possible, like within your control towards that goal that you believe is not possible and keep doing all of that. Whatever you believe it takes, keep working everything that is in your control, right? So that's the other element that is very common that um, we see in different um, people's experiences. And the third one is, that is the big one, which is not attaching yourself to the outcome. In other words, uh, like the way we no. know that we're attached is when we keep feeling disappointed that, oh my God, it didn't work out. It should have worked by now. Or why it's not working out, right? Instead of like genuinely childlike curiosity to believe what if it's possible and keep going for it. And the other way that you know that you're attaching yourself is when you know that you are um, so hung up on it and you feel like if it's not going to happen, something will be wrong or um, you lose all the hope or you will no longer work on this. These are the ways that you know that you are very attached to it. And that's why we cannot really attach ourselves to the uh, outcome or to how it's going to evolve or even attach to knowing exactly in advance how it's going to evolve and unfold because we don't know. We don't know how, but we know that it's possible. And we also know that we can do a lot of things in the meantime to get there and to make that possible. So therefore, what if we just like allowed ourselves to believe, to trust that it's possible? The next thing is doing everything within our control to get there, including believing and um, increasing your belief in that and then not attaching yourself but like keep the nitty-gritty to um, why it hasn't happened yet it should have happened now this type of way of uh, uh, attaching right if we are attached that way then somehow it doesn't work and I don't know why or if we're so much in this waiting feeling like oh my god I, I'm, I'm waiting for this, I'm waiting, and uh, as soon as this happens, then I will be uh, happy or whatever, then also it's not going to happen. And then if you are, like, not sure what your impossible goals are, or if you're not sure uh, what could they even be, then uh, allow the universe to surprise you. And the way you can allow them to surprise you is being so dedicated, committed to doing what you do what you're doing now and how you're doing it and making the impact. And the more you do this, the more surprises keep coming up. The more job offers keep coming up to you because people around you notice, right? People around you know how you're doing it, what you're doing. And then they start thinking of offering you them. So it's a beautiful way of allowing the universe to surprise you. So that could be another way to go to exploring what your impossible so my dears i really would love for you to take the time and come up with at least one impossible sounding goal and then imagine yourself like seeing yourself how you are already that person who is experiencing that and how do you feel as you experience that and then keep doing all of the things that's within your control to go to towards that dream, towards that impossible sounding goal. And then allow the universe or life, whichever the way you will believe, align everything for you so that you get to the place that you really want. And also working on not attaching yourself to that outcome so much because as soon as you attach, then you start getting frustrated and disappointed, disappointed no, with this thing. No, and so, 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 if you would like to create your impossible dreams and you would like to do that as soon as possible, so that let's say next year, this time, you're already living that impossible uh -huh. dream, then absolutely come coach with me. I would love to help you get to the place where you really feel like, yes. 
this is how I have imagined and more. And I'm so proud of myself for having done it. And that's what I really wish for you. So have a beautiful week and I'll talk to you very soon.